pressure him from the get-go. Delahoy on the button with those two jabs, and the second one's jabs up. He added that to his repertoire about two years ago, a stiff jab. Get a guy wondering about it, and then... De La Hoya with this measured punch output. Not throwing as many punches as... De La Hoya's got the better because he's educated himself well with a left jab. Right hand for De La Hoya, right past the guard of Gonzalez. Left hook. What it moving? Right hand lead across. There's a jab for Gonzalez. Steps in a rib cage here in round two. Right hand here in round two, paying a lot of respect to Gonzalez. Gonzalez, say this for Miguel Angel Gonzalez. He seemed outclassed in round one. He's begun to find the target in round two. His hand is showboat on him. De La Hoya hit him in the stomach. De La Hoya. Left hook to the body by De La Hoya. And De La Hoya, the one thing in his armor that was bad, he never turned there ahead of points. Well, particularly if they can get to his body enough to take away some of the power. Good left hook by Gonzalez under De La Hoya's chin. And another one. And Gonzalez starting to lead with the left hook to throw his power punch leads. He starts to get affected. But now De La Hoya lands a left and a right. Let's see what De La Hoya does to adjust now and try to find the opportunity. Goes right to the left hook to the body because his trainer told him, now get it. Snap back, but the third round Gonzalez up to De La Hoya landing two left certainly can't do that. A guy who's undefeated doesn't think he can lose. At least three solid fouls by Gonzalez. De La Hoya. To the body with his elbows. He's done a pretty good job of that. Although Gonzalez says they hugged at center ring. Gonzalez, totally the aggressor in this round. Comes twice with the uppercut. Gives De La Hoya a chance to land the left hook. You throw that many punches like De La Hoya did, you take a breather, but you gotta be careful that you're out of range to take that breather. And then he whacks you with a right hand and he does it a lot. And a lot of referees won't allow that. You can't open. More or less keeping it out there. As long as your hand is out there, it's part of your body. Another. When he throws the left hook, George, he does it with murder in his heart. It takes a lot out of you to throw that much power. Another sensation. Affect your spine and make you foul backwards if you're not careful. Oh, what a left hook. I think it's hard for the referee to see that all the time. And obviously, Gonzalez either was told or decided, I can throw right-hand counters over that. And well, he landed a bit. happened behind one shot that the guy has confidence in. Setting traps. Oh, good right-hand body shot. And a... That's two to one on warnings on low blows if you're counting. Now make sure that you, you're pretty alert to his right hand. Another flurry of power punches by De La Hoya. Another left hook in. He's probably going to give him an unnecessarily... No, not in the back of his mind. He's thinking, you know, I'm going to save something in case this guy comes. Listening to the propaganda about this guy is a good fighter. He's undefeated. He's the best. Now he's dropping his hand to set those traps again. Makes two steps back and circles around. And this guy seemed to follow him right into the trap. Now he's throwing at the left hook. Gonzalez's punches seemingly... He catches him with a hard right hand when he... De La Hoya. He's still thinking a knockout is possible as we get. And also, you know, a welt is open is is raised under De La Hoya's left eye. Left eye. And it would come from the right hand leads, which were Gonzalez's most effective punches. Dippens Gonzalez with a left and backs him up again. That's what happens when you have a good fighter and you play around and let him in and out. If you're scoring and you're looking for a round. And as Harold Letterman pointed out earlier in the fight. And you saw the punch stat numbers. Part of the crowd beginning to boo as it appears De La Hoya is coasting and sitting on his... Gonzalez, just like that. Then De La Hoya. And Oscar better hope that that lead on the scorecards is pretty safe. 
because the momentum of the fight is changing. Right? Correct. But this is a fight too cozy with the scorecards anywhere in the world, but a lot of people would say particularly left eye, and he's tired. He sprinted with some hard shot. 92, seven rounds to three. Ask it, Daniel Hoya. What I'm saying is, is that Nico Gonzalez would either need sensational rounds or a knock in the seventh round for rabbit punching. We're on the same page here, Harold. There. Yeah, you wonder about that, but I, I said earlier that if you use a stiff left jab, you fight who's never been hurt in the ring or marked up for it to happen. You got to make up your mind. Hey, battle next week, and if in fact De La Hoya gets the victory here, and I think the advert. He's the one that has to sing the song. De La Hoya suddenly aggressive again and zealous dramatically. And another left hook by De La Hoya. And De La Hoya is finding the target again. One more left hook. All he needs is one good combination. Good day, love.